My name is Kaolu Fox and I'm a postdoc here in the Department of Chemistry and Pediatrics at UCSD. And it's a beautiful day. We are headed to the lab, the Comore lab, where I'm a postdoc. Whoop, come on in. This lab focuses on uh, genome editing technology. You can think about the genome in, sort of like a book, and there's, you know, six billion pages. And each of those pages is composed of a bunch of words, and each of those words is spelled a certain way. And when those words have a typo in them, that can be considered or looked at like a mutation. And that mutation can possibly contribute to something like cancer or heart disease or type 2 diabetes. And then sort of recently, there was a new type of technology that emerged and it is called genome editing. This new method allows us to use the genome in a way where we, we can use a find and replace tool, you know, like control F in a Microsoft document, and you can find that typo and you can remove it altogether. So how do we ensure the populations of people that need genome sequencing the most are not the last to benefit? My vision is to make genetic research more native, to indigenize genome sequencing technology. I'm really into decolonizing science. Decolonizing science means that like, if 95% of clinical trials have exclusively featured individuals of European descent, then whose narratives are we telling using genome information and who is telling that story? We've been focusing so much on one population of people, we haven't looked at the genome and the variation that exists in it in probably the most interesting populations. Populations of people who are geographically sequestered or isolated on islands or at high elevation. Like how have we adapted as a species to our different environment? And we really don't fully understand what that means and how those mutations could be used to benefit all of hum humankind. When I was younger, I played a lot of sports, you know, basketball, football. Failure in that sport really taught me how to work hard. Like if you lose a game, you're going to kind of recalibrate and you're going to begin to think about ways that you can train harder or iteratively improve your craft. You know, take a hundred free kicks so that your free kick is perfect on game day. It teaches you how to work hard. To be successful in science, you need to be comfortable with failure. You know, you wanna have that indomitable spirit where you're like, nothing, I'm unperturbable. It's funny, because my namesake in Hawaiian means the steadfast one, the keeper of the faith. So I feel like it's a perfect name to have and uh, sort of like energy to personify in science.